the stunt to be performed by driver Dennis Williams standing in for Mel Gibson was ready to take place. The severity of the stunt required Williams to have not ingested any food for a period of 12 hours prior in case any complications were to take place and Williams may have needed to be flown to hospital for surgery. The stunt was performed with the humongous vehicle statically placed in the middle of the road and the Mack truck driven directly into it before the rig was to swerve off the side of the road. The wide angle shot shows Williams in protective gear, most notably wearing a helmet and encased in the fortified cab where the windscreen was replaced with mesh wire netting and reinforced metal bars were placed behind in between the cab and the tanker. The first take of the crash did not go to plan as Williams was initially supposed to roll the rig in the tanker in one shot. Left as it was, the crew and Williams returned the following day to the crash site. The stunt was completed without any incident as Williams was able to walk away from the crash unharmed. It was not until later, when invited to view the dailies during post-production, did Williams and Miller watch the scene as it was shot. George Miller rung me up and says, you better come down and have a look at this. He says, this is frightening. Showed me and it frightened living daylights out of me. I thought to myself, I just don't believe it. <laughs>